Number 5. Use video games as training for your new career. This route admittedly is not the most far-fetched on our list, but in a few number of cases it is possible to make the professional transition from the virtual gaming world to the real world, and make money while doing it. One perfect example is Jan Martinborough, a 22 year old who is so obsessed with the racing game Gran Turismo that he decided to enter a virtual race. To even his own astonishment, after beating more than 90,000 virtual drivers, he gained his place in the GT Academy, a competition sponsored by Nissan and Sony. He had won himself the opportunity to drive with Nissan in the Dubai 24 hour race. Amazingly, after placing third in his class, he has competed in other racing tournaments such as the GT Championship, the Toyota Race racing series in New Zealand and in the European Formula 3 Championship. Jan in an interview said, it felt completely normal. I'd never power steered a car before. I had only ever done it in a game. I was controlling it just with the throttle and it just felt completely natural to me. Playing at a professional level is often referred to as esports. You might be pretty surprised when you hear how much you can win. For example, the winning team of Valve's 2011 Dota 2 tournament received a million dollars while the 2011 North American Star League StarCraft II tournament gave away more than $100,000 in cash and prizes. Bearing in mind that this huge cash haul is still exclusive of corporate sponsors who pay professional gamers to publicize their brands and its image. Clearly, this goes to show that having a pro gaming career can definitely be worth it. Number 4. Playing and Recording Video Games Although this is probably the most explored way to make money using video games, recording games while you're playing them and then putting them on YouTube for monetization is pretty well known. With a large potential for profit at stake, the masses of competition already out there, if you're looking at it, it can seem pretty challenging, as if you're doing this, you're going to need to get a large amount of subscribers and views to make it worth it. When you monetize a video on YouTube, advertisements are placed on your videos. When viewers click on those advertisements, they earn you some real money. Even though each individual click will only earn you a fraction of a fraction of a cent, it does eventually add up. Number 3. Unofficial Guides or Walkthroughs Despite the how-to guides and walkthroughs for video games can ruin the games themselves, this doesn't discard the fact that there is a lot to be earned and a huge market to explore. Do you consider yourself a game expert? Well, websites such as Killer Guides can put some extra cash in your pocket. This site will allow you to write various ebooks which you can then market and sell. You might think of even doing this on your own, like creating a site and pass by any other third party, but the market on Killer Guides is already developed and is really big. Take for example the many available Lord of the Rings game guides, which are often 100 pages or so, but can cost around $29.99. It's not a walkover job, but with time selling a couple thousand guides can make you a lot of money. This is a great way to make money from video games that is technically outside of the game itself. Being a game expert means above average skills at playing video games and by simply documenting step by step on how to beat a specific game and compiling this into a guide that you can sell your bank account could skyrocket. With ebook sales on the rise, writing a guide for a new and popular video game is an ingenious way of capitalizing on the hype and attention of a new game while earning. But not only writing ebooks can make you money, you can also cash in by writing blogs or for websites that are linked to video games. If your passion is video games and you're always up to date on the latest gaming news and buzz, then it only makes perfect sense that you could write about it and make money while doing it. It's not that complicated, think about it. You could start your own blog or rent out an ad space and sell video game tutorials or walkthroughs. And if you're not the type to create your own business, you can simply partner with existing video game blog owners or gaming websites. Number 2. Game Testing This is also an extremely profitable avenue to make some easy money as a gamer. Game testing is where large video game companies like Blizzard, Capcom, EA Games, Microsoft, just to name a few, employ video game fanatics or testers who will actually test new and developing games and report any problems or glitches they find before their release on the game market. Working from home while playing as little or as much games as you would like, this couldn't get any better. Literally the more games you play the more you earn. All this around your own schedule. Thanks to the team of professional game testers, games are released totally polished and working perfectly when you buy them. If you enjoy playing video games, then this is the job for you. If you love everything about video games, being a game tester could earn you money while also preparing you for a further career in the game industry. With prior knowledge of computer programming, a game tester can even apply to a major game company for a job as a game developer or designer. As one of the main interview questions you will be asked will be how many years have you spent testing games? 
And as a bonus, remember most game testers get to keep the games they test, so I'm sure you can imagine how much you will save on buying video games. Number 1. Golden Item Farming Gamers today can make thousands of dollars just by exploring the financial and lucrative aspect of virtual economics within the gaming world. A gamer, just by sitting and playing online video games as well as making and selling online goods and services in games, could be raking in some huge amounts of money. Although the buying and selling of virtual goods is nothing new, some games are actually operating a sort of in-game auction house. And quietly. There's a lot of money to be made. So how is this done? Easy, in three ways. Firstly, gamers can earn by simply selling in-game currency. This is pretty much the same thing as the real world currency exchange that we have, where you can buy and sell money at different exchange rates, and if this is done correctly, there are huge profit gains that can be made on the exchanges. Secondly, gold farming. This technique, also known as power leveling, is where a gold farmer or gold farming firm is given the login information such as the username and password of players, who just wants to achieve a certain level in the game, but does not want to do it themselves, obviously. Money is then paid over to the gold farmer who plays as the user and reaches the agreed level within the game. Thirdly, is selling in-game items for real money. An advanced gamer can buy and create unique goods and services in-game, which can then be sold for thousands of dollars in real money. A perfect example of this is in the game World of Warcraft, where characters are built up with new skills, weapons, magic, and other abilities, and are often sold and transferred for thousands. For gamers, the opportunity to cash in on a payday is just around the corner. Thank you